Alright, so this is sort of a mod spotlight that I'm doing um, on shaders. And um, in, particularly, in particular, the variations of the GSLS um, shader, which changes basically um, what you look at. And so this is just the standard uh, shader. If you download it, it comes with uh, the wavy tall grass mod and basically if you look at the tall grass you can see it it moves it moves with the wind um, and that's probably the biggest effect but you can also see that um, the perspective changes there like the what you see changes on uh, depending with how far away from the object you're looking at so things closer to you will be blurry and the edges are sort of blurred and things farther away from you will um, appear more clear and this affects um, it's pretty cool uh, when you look from indoors to outdoors or vice versa yeah, it's a really big effect and now the mods come in a variety of different flavors I mean you can do anything uh, this one, just a standard one, has wavy grass, but you can have um, wavy wheat too, wheat that sort of sways in the wind, and you can have um, wavy leaves, leaves that uh, sway in the wind, um, but this is just a standard one. You can see that, yeah, it makes things close to you blurry and things farther away clear. Um, interestingly enough, uh, you can modify the files um, for the shader with 7-zip, which is um, basically a file editing software you can download online um, for free from 7-zip.org. And anyway, so here you can see that when you look at the door that's close, it's blurry, but when you look into the room, the room becomes clear. So it's blurry, and then it's clear once you look inside of it, and it just makes it more realistic. Uh, it gives it a more realistic feel to the uh, game. And interesting thing, I thought I was going to have to modify my texture pack, um, because, you know, I, I wouldn't think that the normal static grass texture would work for the wavy grass, but it actually worked fine. This is just a standard painterly, painterly pack. Um, but it uh, everything works fine without any modifications at all. Um, and so you still get the blurriness and the waviness of the grass um, without any special things done to your texture pack. Though I know you need to uh, get different texture packs and upload um, a different shader in order if you want to change the color of the water. So this is a new world I've created, and it has four actually shaders um, as part of the sort of like an add-on to the uh, shader that I had earlier. So it has a Doth, Godray, Bloom, and Cross Process, um, as well as the sort of wavy grass. And so the God rays are what you're seeing there, sort of like the, the beams of light coming off the sun. Um, they're pretty cool. And so they just give a more realistic tone, or realistic look. So you've got the wavy grass. Um, the rest of them, they just sort of make it look more dreamy, or more sort of cinematic. You can see the, it's a lot brighter. Um, the uh, sort of the contrast is more apparent, like in the animals and on their skin, or, or wool or whatever. Um, the edges still get blurry when you look. Um, you transition from looking at near objects to far objects. Um, so there's not a big difference in that, but you can definitely tell that uh, the uh, bloom adds sort of a more... I don't know how to describe it. It, it does look more like a movie um, than regular Minecraft does, sort of um, just realistic. But altogether, it's, it's very cool, and you can using 7-zip, you can uh, change the Minecraft uh, jar file, you go uh, and go into that and go into the bin file, and there's shaders, uh, there's a section for shaders, and you can use that to modify and turn off any one of these shaders, so you can just have the god rays or just have the wavy grass. Um, but yeah, it's very cool, and I suggest you get it.